Welcome to Redmond 124, located in the RTEC building of the COCC Redmond campus. This classroom is equipped with two TVs, two computer monitors, and two cameras, making it capable of hosting and receiving a streaming class. Let's take a look at the capabilities of the equipment in this room. We'll start by turning on any monitors that need to be turned on, and then we'll turn on the computer tower itself. Next, if the Crestron is not awake, you can tap it to wake it up, and then select the computer source. If the Crestron asks if you would like to use a projector, you can choose yes or no. In this case, I'm going to choose yes. Next, we'll sign into the computer and pull up any documents we might need for our streaming class. Next, we'll use the camera remote to turn on the room cameras. And the TV remote to turn on the room TVs. You can use the camera feed selector button to change which camera feed displays on your TV screen. We can use the up, down, left, right, and zoom buttons on the camera remotes to move the cameras around. The computer in this room is set up so that you can drag items from one monitor to another. Anything appearing on the right-hand monitor will appear on the right-hand TV, and anything appearing on the left-hand monitor will be projected to the projector screen. The left-hand TV screen is there as a self-check so that you can see what your students are seeing through the camera feed. Now we'll sign into Zoom, either through Canvas or the Zoom program downloaded to the computer. And before students enter the streaming class, it's a good idea to use the test speaker and microphone option to make sure the equipment is working. Sometimes Zoom may not choose the best speaker and microphone for the room, so if you need to cycle through them to find a pair that works, that's totally fine. Here are the settings that worked for us in filming this video. This room also has a microphone built into the podium, which you may want to be aware of if you plan on lecturing. Once students have joined your meeting, remember that you can change camera feeds to either show them what's being projected on the projector screen or to show them the rest of the classroom. This can be handy for encouraging discussion between an in-person class and a streaming class. Once the streaming class is over, please be sure to shut down the Crestron system, turn off the computer and monitors, and then use the TV remote to turn off the TVs and the camera remote to turn off the cameras. If you run into any problems during your streaming class, you can use the classroom phone to give us your e-learning a call. There should also be a manual somewhere in the classroom that describes how to use the equipment in a manner similar to this video. If you don't find that manual, feel free to ask us for a copy. We hope that you enjoy your streaming class experience here at COCC, and if you have questions, comments, or concerns, please let us know. Thanks for watching.